The onset of the COVID-19 virus has challenged all aspects of our lives, to include our communities and our entire organization. You have all risen to the challenge to understand COVID-19 and take the appropriate precautions through utilizing the appropriate PPE and to prevent exposure as the virus continues to expand. As you know, the vast majority of our responses are centered around emergency medical services and caring for the public. Our current mission is to help slow the spread of the virus so that medical resources do not become overwhelmed. This training film demonstrates the proper use of required PPE to keep you safe and to protect the public. It is your defense mechanism. Keep yourselves healthy, keep your family healthy, and continue to provide outstanding service to those we serve. The donning and doffing procedure is critical to your safety. The doffing aspect, in particular, needs to be slow and meticulous in order to avoid exposure. The following is a procedure for proper donning and doffing of personal protective equipment for cases warranting airborne and droplet precautions. The following equipment is required. Two pairs of nitrile or latex medical grade gloves, one pair size appropriate for the individual, and the second pair size one size larger to be used as an outer glove, one disposable gown, one pair of safety goggles, one NIOSH approved N95 or greater mask, one red biohazard bag, one container of EPA approved disinfectant, example, super sandy cloth wipes or the purple top, one container of 70% alcohol hand sanitizer or the blue top. The following is a step-by-step -step donning procedure. Step one. Ensure the presence of a designated safety officer with a safety donning and doffing checklist in hand. Step two, remove any wrist jewelry and watches. Step three, apply the first pair of standard nitrile latex gloves. Remember the first pair is the one appropriately sized for the individual. Step four, apply the disposable gown. Ensure that the first set of gloves is well tucked in underneath the sleeves and that the necktie and waist tie are secured for maximum coverage. Step 5. Apply the N95 mask. Conform the nose piece to the bridge of your nose and perform a seal test by observing for partial mask collapse inward when breathing in. This is done to ensure a proper seal. Step 6. Apply safety goggles. Step 7. Apply the second pair of standard nitrile latex gloves over the first pair and over the sleeves of the gown. The second pair is the oversized pair in order to make it easier to remove. Step 8. Have the designated safety officer perform a thorough inspection of PPE. The following is a step-by-step -step doffing procedure. Remember, the doffing procedure needs to be slow and meticulous in order to avoid exposure. Step 1. Ensure the presence of a designated safety officer with a safety donning and doffing checklist in hand. Step 2. If doffing on scene, Prepare the red biohazard bag for doffing using an outward rolling technique. Step three, use an EPA approved disinfectant to thoroughly wet the exposed surface of your outer gloves. 
Be sure to wipe between the fingers. Wait for the recommended amount of time before proceeding. This step is crucial. This will remove the majority of contaminants on your gloves and keep you from exposing yourself. Step four, gently and slowly grip with both hands and tug the gown at the level of the chest in a forward and downward motion until the necktie has snapped. Proceed to removing the gown by gently and slowly pulling the chest portion down and out to snap the waist tie while extending your arms away from your body. Continue to roll the gown and the gloves off in an inside out fashion, being careful not to make contact between the gown's outer facing surface and your clothing. Once removed, slide and drop the inside out gown and gloves into a biohazardous bag. Remember, the outer surface of the gown and the gloves are still considered contaminated. Step five, use an EPA approved disinfectant to thoroughly wet the surface of the last pair of inner gloves. Be sure to wipe between the fingers. Wait the recommended amount of time for the manufacturer before proceeding. Step six, the front of the goggles is considered contaminated. Ensure the surface does not touch your face. Remove the goggles carefully and place them on a non-porous surface for disinfecting. Step seven, the front of the mask is considered contaminated. Remove the mask by first pulling the neck strap back and over the top of your head and under your chin. While maintaining tension on the first strap, pull the second head strap back and over the top of your head while pulling the mask carefully away from your face while maintaining tension on both straps. Step eight, remove your gloves and wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. If hand washing is not immediately available, sanitize your hands using an alcohol-based sanitizer with at least 70% concentration of alcohol. Wet your hands thoroughly and rub them for at least 30 seconds and then allow them to air dry. Only essential equipment is to be brought in and whenever possible, every effort should be made to keep equipment outside of a six foot radius from the patient. Use an EPA approved disinfectant to thoroughly wet all the surfaces of any equipment used. Allow the disinfectant to air dry for the recommended amount of time for the manufacturer. <laughs>